Okay, so the theme for this Fade deck is to bring out Gandora X, the Dragon of Destruction. Uh, he's not a very good card. When he's normal or special summoned, you can destroy all other monsters on the field, and then you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to the highest attack amongst them, and he also gains attack equal to whatever damage you dealt to your opponent. Uh, which usually means I'm going to be destroying my own Red Eyes Metal Dragon and gaining 2800 attack while dealing 2800 damage to my opponent. Uh, it also allows you to attack directly, so you're basically, you know, doing around 6,000 damage when he comes out. Not half bad. You also lose half your life points when he uses effect. Uh, it's, yeah, so anyways, the way I decided to bring him out was just to use Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. And one of the fastest ways to bring out Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon is through a Paladin of a Dark Dragon deck. And one of the best ways to bring out Paladin of the Dark Dragon is with a modified Necroz deck with Necroz of the Unicorn. Uh, throwing Herald of Arc Light to the graveyard and bringing out his other, you know, cards to search, plus Manju the Ten Thousand Hands, etc., etc. Uh, that was until I, I figured out this card exists. Pre-preparation of rights. When, when exactly did this card come out? It is ridiculously good. It's just a straight up plus one. It's like having Pot of Greed, but for uh, ritual cards, because you just add Paladin and his uh, Dark Dragon Ritual straight from your deck to your hand. No cost, you can only just use it once per turn, well the cost is a card itself, so it's just a straight up plus one. And there's no restrictions, you can use it right away. This is a really good card. Uh, it's not too useful for Necros because it has to have a, uh, a specific monster mentioned in the ritual card, and since Dark Dragon Ritual is an actual good spell card, since it has a second effect which activates from the grave, which allows you to add another Red Eyes uh, spell card straight from your deck to your hand. That's why I've got Return of the Red Eyes, Red Eyes Spirit Dragon, and Red Eyes Fusion. Uh, these three cards are really good, and you can just use a, your ritual in your graveyard to search it on your next turn. Uh, so yeah, pre-preparation of rights. Really good card. I didn't even know this card existed until I was looking for ritual cards for this. I was actually looking for preparation of rights to add to the deck, and I just typed out like... I think I typed out preparations or ritual, and I just found this one. I was like, this card is so good. How <laughs> if I'd never known about this? I'm totally going to try out a couple of other ritual cards now just because this card exists. Oh man. Anyways, uh, yeah, the deck itself works pretty nice. The deck already worked out really well with just the Necross engine searching out. Dark Paladin worked out a lot better when Necross Unicorn was still at 3 because this deck revolves around Unicorn. Having him at 1 does kind of diminish the deck a lot, uh, but it, it still can be ran, just not as well. But with pre-preparation rights, it's basically better. I don't even need the Necross engine, to be honest.